Okay, so this one is called the Priorities Hierarchy and it's based on a blog post I wrote called the Priorities Hierarchy. Set your number one because you are your priorities. Wow, it sounds a bit cheesy now that I read it back. However, we are back on the With Joey B podcast, so welcome again to another day. And I've uh, uh, this is a bit of a recent addition to my little log of mental models or my pensive, I like to call it sometimes, because I just start to realize how important priorities are. There are some big words, there are some simple but big, important, dense words like priorities and values that whose meaning normally gets lost um, because we talk about them so much and they're just so significant. Until we reach the point in our own journey where circumstances force us to think about them and then we realize how integral they are and they're not just buzzwords and for me that's that's right now is, is priorities so i'm going to go through the exercise it's it's based on the idea that you can't really have it all and i was just trying to think about the way i ranked my own priorities and i guess i started with a basic list and then I, I found it really fun to send this to people and see how they rank them. And and also see how they commented on the, I guess, the, the values or the priorities I suggested that they shuffle into an order that suited them. So let's let's go one step at a time. First, let's, sh- let's just list them. So the exercise, it's ranking these things in order of priority. Duty, the greater good. Respective colleagues. Number three, respect of family and friends. Uh, fourth, personal sustainability, basically affording your MVL. And number five here, I got income as, as separate from personal sustainability in terms of just paying your bills versus wanting to have more income. Uh, health. Then I've got social image or public recognition. Then not doing harm state of internal peace, learning, which I also put in brackets, I put in the same category as a lot of people refer to as growing and evolving, that's how I think of, I think of learning very holistically, not just reading books or or gaining knowledge and uh, accumulating facts, feeling socially connected, connected to others. So they're the things, and this is probably hard to do in an audio format with the podcast. This is this is one that's probably better going to the blog and doing it. The link will be in the show notes. Uh, mine, I won't run through my complete one, um, but I, I did have Judy at the top and and learning as, as number two. And I think the last ones would have been, last one might have been uh, income, I'm pretty sure. Uh, not that it's not important, not that I don't try and make my income better, but just those other things. Wow, it's important one. There's important things there. So that's the hierarchy, and you can get other people to do it. If you want to be cheeky and they haven't heard the podcast episode, you can use it to just gauge whether your values are, are, are quite aligned with theirs or what energy they're going to do something from because you'll be able to see what their priority is. And so this is a really interesting one to, to run on people. And also, I'm curious to see how it can track over time. Anyway, um, to come back to this, one of, the, one of the good friends of mine I sent this to, who's a podcaster, um, talked about a lot of the words, a lot of the phrases or, or single priorities might be bundled into one thing. They also might be, uh, you know, there might be more or less there like you might remove some you might even add some things i haven't even thought of uh and i i thought about that and i thought that is essentially probably one of the important points of the exercise is that you actually think about these concepts and what's relevant and not relevant for you and not just take some arbitrary list of uh what can we call them values virtues or or priorities and try and fit within that box that i've set rather creating your own box. I also think it forces you to think about what these things are and, and how they do relate to one another. If they, are, if they are kind of inextricably linked or if they are kind of separate. Now, what, what I will say 
is that, and this is kind of probably the third point for this episode on the priorities hierarchy. I believe this is incredibly valuable, even though a lot of these things will overlap. For example, um, me doing my duty, you know, facilitating people and opening doors for others is, is something that's not mutually exclusive to work and the podcast. You know, I do, do it with whatever friends and family if, if they need something. So the respect of colleagues, respect of family and friends, uh, learning, it all, it all kind of happens on the one journey for me. But what I will say is that knowing the word, uh, having a word which represents a concept in your mind that you, you know is your focus is, is much tighter and airtight to keeping you on track. What do I mean by that? The example I've started using to describe what I mean by that point is the word work. Work is a very vague, um, highly connotative term. It has many different sub-meanings, many that are, are not catalogued or recorded in any central way. So the way the construction workers outside might think about work would be very different to me. Like, am I working right now? It's Sunday morning recording this. Uh, you know, is this work? Well, it's my duty. My, is my duty work? So I like the word duty because it's actually very clear. And it's a tighter concept and it's a smaller concept geographically than work. If you're watching the YouTube video, I've got, you know, I'm trying to do a big hand for, for work, represent how broad it is and a small little fist for duty. And, you know, it's easy to say I'm, I'm concentrating on my work because we need to fix the education system, right? It's my duty. So I'm going to concentrate on my work so I can do that because my wife had a bad experience at school. And I had a bad experience at school, so that's why I care about this. So that's your focus, right? That's your focus. I'm focused on my work. I'm focused on my work. I'm focused on my work. Now, at some point, because we live in a very dynamic society, when you're paying your bills, when you're out at lunch, when your friend talks about, you know, the raise they got and the salary they got, and and you're forced to look at your income for a bit, and you think about how your bank, your bank balance is a bit low, and you start to stress about that, and you realize, oh, well, you know, how am I going to get paid more? Well, the business will go better. So I'm just going to double down on work. I'll double down on work. I'll double down on work. I'll double down on work. And what's happened, you've got this pole of like duty as a reason to work. And you've got, you know, your personal sustainability as a, as a reason for working. Now, they both fit within the category of work, right? Yeah. Um, Elon Musk's work pays his bills, personal sustainability. That also is his mission. It's done in the same vehicle. But where the priority lies, if the priority is like this little target that's zoomed in on, in the example I'm talking about, it starts to shift from one end to the other, kind of like a ball rolling along a, some sort of t like a tilt, you know, it, it gets tilted and the ball rolls along to the other side. And it's very subtle, it's hard to notice. So what started as mission-led work might become work that's actually focus on paying the bills and that is that priority determines a very different energy because now if there's a decision that comes between you know earning a little bit more and what's best for the mission that person that example is now biased towards making the decisions streamlined towards their own personal sustainability so if your work is the mission like the education venture but you're starting to worry about your income, maybe you'll sell it off to someone who's not going to carry on the project with the same sense of duty and mission that you were. Almost definitely not going to happen. Um, so this is why I find, all right, so if I use the word like duty is my focus, all right? And again, it depends what my mental box of duty is in my mind. It might be different to yours, but duty is much more specific than work. So it's hard for me to say I'm focused on my duty and then, and then have the priority shift somewhere else. The reason I devised this exercise first, as with most, oh, not most, all the shit I do in this podcast, is because first, I needed it. I needed it. Because I was tired of getting swung around. And I've talked about extrinsic traps. Um, we're very susceptible to so many things that get us off our path. Astro the dog. Yada, yada, yada. There's so much, so many ways of getting stuck up. So I'm always trying to 
develop the what I started calling the bowling lanes, and I make them narrower, narrower, narrower to keep me on track to to that strike. And the priorities exercise, uh, the priorities hierarchy exercise is just an even narrower set of bowling lanes for me. It just keeps me on track, so it promotes a lot of clarity. It's really, really powerful for that. Um, so that's why I believe so much in this exercise. Now, you are your priorities. Right, you are your number one. So whatever your number one on your list is, that says dispro- uh, way more about you than the number two does, and the number two says way more about you than the number three does, assuming you've been able to do it accurately with self knowledge. So, the question is, after this episode, who are you? What is your number one priority? So I'll read my list again, but remember you could add other things that I didn't include or you could rearrange my concepts, but duty and the greater good, respect of colleagues, respect of family and friends, personal sustainability, affording your MVL, income, health, social image, public recognition, not doing harm, a state of internal peace, Learning, slash growing, slash evolving. Feeling socially connected, connected to others. That's the priorities hierarchy. It's a fun one to do with friends. Probably better with the blog post, to be honest, which is um, the priorities hierarchy. Set your number one because you are your priorities. Available on the With Joe Weeby website, www.withjoeweeby.com. Link in the show notes for the blog post. In the meantime, though, obviously remember, as always, the best way to open a thousand doors for you is to concentrate on opening doors for others. Maybe you'll open someone's door to their priorities today. It's a really fun one to think about. Take care, guys. I'll see you again tomorrow.